Hey everybody, welcome back to RCSRC Cars. I have the 3 Racing Cero Sport Kit here in front of me. I'm going to open this up and show you what's inside. All right, right away I'm drawn to this right here. Uh, so this kit's going to come with, this is going to be a shock oil. So you have a 350 CST and these two are going to be oil for differential. So you have two different, uh, I think this is thread locker. This is for uh, the diff and this is ceramic grease very thorough it gives you everything you need um here is that famous uh ball end wrench i'm glad i'm getting another one of these that's great um over here i think that's the servo horn right here and i'm not sure what these rings are um this double-sided tape i see a wrench uh turnbuckle wrench right there and some body clips so this is just the remaining parts. I think this is kind of something they threw together um, after the fact, I guess. And we're gonna go backwards, looks like. So this is bag number eight. And this kit features this kind of honeycomb design uh, bumper instead of the uh, foam that we're so used to. It is a kind of a different kind of plastic. It is kind of squishy. That's interesting. So that's the bumper. I'm sure these are just going to be the bumper holder. That looks like it's going to be maybe one of the damper stays. Uh, shock towers, body posts. Uh, these are going to be for um, kind of the, the part that the body is going to sit on. Those are those rings right there. All right, so this is bag eight. Bag seven, uh, that looks like it's going to be the servo mount right here. Uh, I think these two are for the battery bracket and a couple more servo horns right here and that looks like, I mean, I'm not sure what that is, but I see some screws here, a uh, spring, a uh, couple ball ends, it's interesting. So this is bag seven, bag six. Looks like these are the damper parts, and this kit does come with uh, plastic body threaded dampers. Um, so this is, I see the springs right here. Uh, yeah, this is all the uh, damper parts. There's O-rings, there's the seals, um, the shafts are right there. Very cool. Bag number five, looks like it's going to be these are going to be the suspension arms. Uh, these are going to be the upper arms. And let's see. You see some uh, rod ends right there. And I think this is going to be one, two, three, four. So there's going to be the uh, wheel hubs right here, the uprights right there. Um, there's some, these are universals. Uh, Let's see, some bearings, washers, screws, of course. Um, there's, these bags are not very see-through, and there's a lot of stuff packed in here. All right, okay, so that's bag number five. Bag number four, that's the top deck. Uh, really hard to see what these are going to be. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess these are the bulkheads. Um, some screws right here. And there's the stabilized bar, sway bars. The, R, the um, bars themselves are right there. Pretty cool, this is bag four. Bag three, I see some more bearings and there's the belt and uh, let's see I don't see any gears in here <laughs> more servo horns 
There's a lot of servo horns in this kit. Um, those look like standoffs to me. And some washers, screws, and it's kind of hard to tell what these are. They're kind of all bunched up together. So that's bag number three. Bag number two is pretty big. It's going to be the composite chassis. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that pattern right there. I wonder what that's going to be like. All right, let's take a look when we uh, build this. And it's hard to say what those are. I think maybe those are the lower arms. Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. We're going to build this uh, um, very soon. And these are just some kind of weird looking... Uh, tubes and rings really hard to tell what they are they may be like joints like cups or something like that I guess we'll find out uh, there's some big eclipse right there uh, ball ends and some more spacers right there bag number one easily recognizable this is the differential and also, the miscellaneous gears. This is a built-driven car, so it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, kit to build. I haven't built one in a little while. Um, I think the last one was the M4 Pro, the 3 Racing M4 Pro, I think was also belt-driven. All right, so that's bag number one. And it comes with this thank you card. And is it decals? It might be decals. Yeah, I think this could be decals. Yeah, it is decals. All right, here's another sheet of decals. This one has the Cerro Sport and the three racing decals. And this one's pre-cut. This one is not for some reason. All right, and here is the very colorful uh, manual, instruction manual. And it tells you what all the parts are going to be, um, what the what's in each bag, and of course assembly instructions. All right, it's going to be an interesting, really interesting build, and it's nicely printed. Nice paper. Looks like it's going to be. I mean, it's mostly grayscale, but there is some color there, so that's really cool. All right, there you go. This is the 3 Racing Cerro Sport uh, unboxing. I can't wait to build this. I always say that, but I really can't wait to build this one. I've been waiting for this for a little while. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the build series. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to RC's RC Car for more content like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.